embarrassed and deceived. The mother of one of the six Woodmore bus crash victims says that's how she felt when she was pressured by an attorney the day before her daughter's funeral. Now she's filing a lawsuit. News Channel 9's Stephanie Sanastasi joins us with a live look at who it names and what the mother says happened. Stephanie. First time after she was killed in the Woodmore bus crash. Tonight, she's suing the funeral home for the way she was treated following her daughter's death. Deja Jones, she was killed while riding bus 366 on Tally Road last year. During her funeral, people who knew her expressed how sweet she really was. She was the most genuine child you could ever meet. Um, you know when people say that, oh man, they, they leave everyone smiling, they just say it, well, for Cordesia, it really meant that. Her mother, Letitia, tries to remember those good times with her daughter, but when she thinks back on their last memory, she says she feels severely saddened and humiliated. That's why she's now suing Taylor Funeral Home, a Texas law firm, and a man who pretended to be an attorney. According to this lawsuit, Jones came here to Taylor Funeral Home when beginning to plan Cordasia's funeral. She says the funeral home locked her in a room with a man claiming to be an attorney and kept the door locked until she agreed to sign a representation agreement. She says after she signed, they let her out of the room. The lawsuit says that man was Alfonso McClendon. It says he visited the Joneses home the next day, promising settlements in millions of dollars. The Jones family later learned that McClendon was not even a licensed attorney. Anita Taylor from Taylor Funeral Home tells us she wasn't even aware of the lawsuit and she told us she did not have a comment. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9. Stephanie, thank you. Back in April, the Tennessee Attorney General also filed a lawsuit against the Witherspoon Law Group for targeting grieving families at Taylor Funeral Home. You can read those lawsuits on our website, newschannel9.com. The city of Chattanooga will have to pay up to 